ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Welcome back. Okay, very excited with this video. We have created a web page. We have got it live on our Facebook page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some pages to it. So we're going to create some linked pages, which pretty much is the beginning of you creating a complete website on Facebook. Okay? Now, this video may be slightly longer than the other ones because we do need to go through exactly how to create those pages and uh, there may be a little bit of coding involved. It really depends on how WordPress wants to behave, but if you can just uh, get grab yourself a coffee, get your pen and paper at the ready, watch closely, okay? Pay complete attention to this video. All right, I sound like a teacher, don't I? Pay attention. Okay, so if we go back over to our dashboard on our WordPress site, because this is what we, where we need to be. Okay, so we have our welcome page. This is our first page. We'll call this our home page, if you like. Yeah, so this is our home page. Um, and what we want to do is we want to go and create another couple of pages. Now, obviously, you can create as many pages as you, as you like. I'm just simply going to show you two more pages as an example of adding pages. Okay, so we're going to click Add New over here under Pages. And up here, I'm going to call this page two. <laughs> For, for one of uh, so oh by the way just notice that I'm in the visual tab here I'm not in the HTML tab I'm in the visual tab so I'm calling this page two and what I want to do is I want to grab an image so I'm going to go here to add an image which we've used before but this time rather than upload the image from my computer um, we've already got images loaded here because we loaded them when we started creating our first page, didn't we? So if you just go to Media Library and then all of your images that you've uploaded will be within your Media Library. So I want the header. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click Show. Okay? That gives me my header image. I don't want a link on it. We all know what a link URL now is, and I don't want the link on it. So I'm simply going to grab the header, take the link off, and insert it into the post. And ba-boom, there's my header. Okay? So I'm just going to call it, let's have a gap there and call it test page 2. Okay? Oops, and I want to make sure that, that text is centered. There we go. And that's all I'm going to do for now. Obviously, when you create your pages, they're going to be full-blown, um, you know, designed pages, whatever it is you want. Maybe it's an introduction about you. Maybe it's more about your products and services. Um, you know, maybe it's kind of a full-blown website, but uh, you will obviously create the pages you wish to create. This is just an example. So I go over here and I'm going to click Publish. <clears throat> All right, so now before I leave this page, what I want to do is grab this URL, okay, up here. Excuse me, I've got <clears throat> a bit of a frog in my throat today. Um, and I am going to open a brand new text edit file or notepad. Some of you will have PCs. And I'm just going to copy that URL in there because we need that in a second when we link the pages, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's go back over to Add New again. And I'm going to add a third page. So let's call this page three. And then once again, I'm in the Visual tab note. And I'm going to add an image. I'm going to go over to my Media Library. I'm going to grab my header. I don't want the link. And insert it into my post. Uh, Okay, I need to press that a couple of times. Okay, and I'm just going to call this test page three. And I'm going to center that text there and go over here and publish. Okay, then once again, I'm just going to grab this URL because we need this. Okay, and put it in my text edit file with the first URL. Okay guys, we are good to go. Now, this is where this is where I'd ask you to pay attention because this is where it could get a little bit complicated and it's only because WordPress as I've said before has a bit of an issue with you going between visual and HTML. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to go back to pages. 
Now, to go and create links, if you're not overly comfortable with HTML yet, to go and create links, when you go into your home page, you're going to want to do it in the visual side, okay, in the visual editor. The challenge with that is because we've already been in HTML and we've popped back over to visual, then WordPress can do all sorts of funky things with the code. Look at that, look at your opt-in box, that's gone side by side now. Um, and one of the things it does with me is every time I load it, it um, gets rid of the video. Yeah, it completely deletes, <laughs> deletes the video for me. Um, so one of the things I always do, and I've done it before because it's already messed up with the code, is I do make sure that this I've copied all of this code into a text edit file. So I have all of the original code just in case anything goes wrong. Let me just refresh that and see if it will bring me up. Uh, the original code. There it is. So there's all my original code, okay? Um, if we go into our first welcome page, we can see that it's original because if we refresh on that, we can see that the whole layout remains the same, okay? All right, the whole layout is remaining the same there. So that's my original code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of that code and I'm going to copy it and put it into a new text edit file. And that just means that if anything goes wrong with what I'm trying to do and it doesn't work, then I have all the code there that I can immediately go into the HTML version and um, delete everything that's in there, replace the code, and when I click update, it will bring me back to my original page. Okay? The second thing I always ensure I've got to hand, and let me just go and find it, is my... Here it is, my text file that I originally saved. Remember that we, um, when we first set up our page, we had a text file that had all of our information in it, our headers, our um, opt-in form code, our video form code. So I always have that to hand. So if I just need to go back in and maybe place the video code back in or the opt-in form code back in, then I can go and do that using um, you know, the original information that I have. OK, so I'm sorry, guys, if that's looking a bit complicated. It just really is because WordPress gets very funny about you switching, toggling between these two, OK, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but uh, as I said, those are kind of your ways of, of, of protecting your content, if you like. So we're going to go over to visual um, because what I want to do is add these links. So I'm just going to put a space in here. I'm going to go back up here. And up here it says heading, I want this to be smaller, I want it to go back to kind of a normal size. So I'm just going to grab paragraph, okay, and bring that back to a normal size. Now, here's where you're going to put in the titles for your pages. So I'm, I'm going to call my first one home. Um, and then I'm going to put in page two. And then page three, okay. They're, my, they're going to be my three pages. So this is where we need those URLs, remember? Now, the first URL we actually need is this URL because this is our home page, okay? So I grab this URL for this page, go down to home here, okay? And click on this little link button here, all right? And then I can go in and place my URL within there. Um, and if I want, I can open the link in a new window or tab. For now, I'm just going to keep it where it is um, <clears throat> and add the link. Then I'm going to go down to my text edit file with my URLs in that I saved and I'm going to grab my page 2 URL and copy that. Go in here to page 2, click the link button and input that link. OK, add link. And then I'm going to go and grab my page 3 URL. OK, grab that and go to page 3 and press on that little link button and add that URL. OK, so now we have essentially three links. OK. <laughs> So what we want to do is go and test and see if these links work. All right, so I'm going to click update. And this is where when we go over and refresh our page, we are going to see that WordPress has probably messed around with it a little bit.
Okay, so here we can see that it's got rid of my video. Okay, so we can see it's got everything else on there looking fine. The only thing is my video. So I'll go back and amend that in a minute. But let's go and have a look. This is here we are, our home page. If I click on page two, there you go, it takes me to test page two. Okay, if I click on page three, it takes me to test page three. Now what we need to do is put the links in page two and page three so that you can constantly go back to your home page. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this section here and copy it. That's it, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go into my pages and I'm going to go into page two, simply click on this bit, center the text and paste. There's my links and update. Okay, and then go into page three. And once again, paste. There's my links and update. Okay, now if we go back in and refresh this, all of a sudden here on test page three, I've got links back to page two and home. If I click on page two, we go back to test page two and I've got links to home and I can click on home. That's it guys, boom boom, you have basically got links to other pages now within your web page, okay? Now before we go over and test this on the main page, let's go back and just put that video back in, shall we? So I'm going to go back to edit page and I'm going to head up to my first welcome page here. Okay, and where the video goes, we know the video needs to go there, don't we? The video has completely disappeared. So I'm just going to put in that little line of X's again. Okay, so I can see exactly where the video needs to go. And then head back over here to the HTML screen. There's where it's deleted the video. So if I go back to my original codes, I don't need to re-put the whole code in because nothing that drastic has gone wrong. It's just got rid of my video. So if I go back to the original file with all of my original codes on, I can then literally grab the video code again, go back to this page, go over the X's, do exactly what we did in the first couple of videos, put in my video, press update, and that should do the trick. If we now go over here and refresh, and boom, there we go. There's my web page, all back to normal, and there are my links to my other pages. So let's go and see if this all works on our Facebook page. So no, I haven't had to do anything else to Facebook. I just need to click refresh. And there's our links directly in our Facebook page. So if I click page two, up comes page two. If I click page three, up comes page three. And let's go back to the home page. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you create a fully blown website all within Facebook. Okay, so you create all your pages. You can create as many pages you like within your WordPress site um, and just link all those pages on your main page and away you go. You have created your very first complete and utter website all within Facebook. Woohoo, how exciting is that? All right, guys, um, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it got a little bit complicated with the coding. Um, and that is just unfortunately a little bit of um, temperamentality. Is that a word? Temperamentality? I don't think it is. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit of a nuance within, um, within WordPress there. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now in the next couple of videos is I'm going to do a couple of sort of bonus videos. In the next video we're going to look at getting these YouTube embed codes, so you definitely know exactly where you're getting those from. Um, I'm going to review how to create web forms, autoresponders, um, and do a quick video on that. What I'm also going to do is for those of you who maybe already have blogs, and things within your uh, WordPress site. I'm going to show you how with you don't have to create a brand new domain, um, that you can create something called a subdomain and you can install a separate installation of WordPress within that domain so that this theme doesn't interfere in any way, shape or form with your blog. Okay, so there's an extra couple of videos on the end of this. In the meantime, do go and have a practice and start creating your website all within Facebook. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next video.